Hi, I'm Sarah Lawyer, Associate Curator at The Broad in downtown Los Angeles, and today I'm going to talk about an artwork by Mike Kelly called Infinite Expansion. Kelly's projects often combine many different art forms, such as performance, writing, drawing, sculpture, video, and music. This work was part of a performance called The Sublime from 1984 that Kelly staged at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. In the performance, Kelly read aloud a National Geographic article about the discovery of the world's largest flower on the island of Borneo. Meanwhile, dancer Ed Gierke and actor Mary Wonerov delivered a series of gestures and insults, seemingly railing against the mystification and wonder conjured by National Geographic. In this performance and in other exhibitions on this theme, Kelly took up the concept of the sublime, an awe-inspiring emotion created by an encounter with greatness of incalculable scale, whether offered by human achievements or the natural landscape. Picture, for example, the Great Pyramid of Giza or the Grand Canyon. While the sublime is often associated with transcendence, Kelly saw these feelings instead as being rooted in the body and capable of being generated in many ways, including through psychedelia, which he described as an experience where your worldview fell apart. While working on the Sublime series, Kelly studied 19th century American landscape paintings and what he called the mystery worlds they depicted. He liked painters such as Frederick Edwin Church and Martin Johnson Heed. I see infinite expansion in a way as a response to these paintings of landscapes and exotic plant life. Instead of blooming flowers, flowing waterfalls, and expansive skies set in hazy landscapes, Kelly takes the haze out of a romantic return to nature and puts it instead into a psychedelic otherworld. Infinite expansion has many overlapping layers, and in the very center is a tiny drawing of a house nestled in a small, nostalgic mountain scene. In Kelly's hands, the tiny house and mountains are presented at a humble rather than heroic scale. A hallucinatory burst of wood grain radiates out from the center. It looks less like an experience of sublimation at the Grand Canyon and more like an acid trip in a wood paneled basement from the 1970s. This was a trend throughout Kelly's work. He pushed against ideologies based on structures of morality, and he mined behaviors repressed by these worldviews, using forbidden and profane thoughts and images in his work. In infinite expansion, the mountains are subsumed by the haze, subverting the hierarchies of romantic landscape painting, but the result is just as sublime.